especially during the beautiful days of Ramadan, the days of giving. Allah Almighty teaches us that those whom when they give, they neither give away everything, nor do they hold back as misers, but they know how to strike a balance. You give. Don't give away necessity, but give away that which is over and above your need. And don't be so miserly that you're holding back and counting the coins and the notes and counting the bank balances. When you know you've got a lot, give. Give before, before your giving will not benefit you no matter how much is given after you die. It benefits someone else. So that's another quality, the quality of giving in order to earn the mercy of the Almighty. Those who protect themselves from association of partners with Allah. Those who protect themselves from association of partners with Allah. No shirk involved. Every act of worship is only and solely done for Allah Almighty. Those who do not commit murder. How can you expect the mercy of Allah and the love of Allah when you've murdered someone, when you have actually taken someone's life away, when you have actually taken someone's right away? You will need to make peace with them and it's difficult to make peace with a person you've already murdered. So you have to make peace with their families and you have to seek forgiveness of Allah and you have to continue and you will be at their mercy on the day of judgment when they get back to you and they get back at you. May Allah Almighty protect us. Then he says, those who protect themselves from immorality, from adultery, from fornication, may Allah protect us all. And he knows that at times people may fall. So immediately after that, he says, well, there is an exception for those who have sought forgiveness and mended their ways and not repeated their sins. The Almighty says for them, there is forgiveness and there is a multiplication of reward because they have given up their ways and habits solely and only for the pleasure of the most merciful. Here is our mercy, he says.